After nine years of waiting, the border war is back in less than a week. KMU 8's Lauren Michelson shares the history of the MU and KU rivalry. It is the oldest rivalry west of the Mississippi. There's a lot of pride involved in the game. It's just not any other game. Some of the best performances by teams and by individuals. Missouri and Kansas have met on the court 267 times, first starting in 1907. Well, that's one of those games, you know, that everybody looks forward to. The game highlighted calendars each year until 2012, when Mizzou left the Big 12 Conference to move to the SEC. A move former Mizzou forward Lawrence Bowers remembers vividly. And that game should never, regardless of what type of alignment of conferences, that game should never be off the schedule. Kansas declined invitations to make it a non-conference series, disappointing players, coaches, and fans, like KU basketball season ticket holder Ethan Vaughn. The fans are the real losers in that, you know, not having played, and so I think the fans are going to be the winners with the inception of the rivalry again, beginning again here on, on the 11th. The rivalry, called the border war by most, has plenty of history. The rivalry started not because of sports, but because of war. From Civil War skirmishes to the modern day battle for the border. Uh, players will come into that not knowing something about the rivalry. And after about five minutes, then they're, uh, they're, they're going to know. And that. nobody embodies the fierceness of the rivalry more than former Mizzou coach Norm Stewart, nicknamed Stormin Norman for storming up and down the court. Trust me, every time he stood up, I was yelling, sit down, Norm, along with all the fans and everybody else. Norm may not have spent a dime in Kansas his entire career, staying in hotels, using gas stations, and eating meals on the Missouri side of the border. And uh, for the most part, that was true. But on the other hand, it just kind of became a gag line. And it was something I could use uh, so that I didn't have to answer the tough questions. <laughs> While Conzo Martin doesn't have the same aversion to the Jayhawks, he knows what this rivalry means to Mizzou fans. The game, this is a this is a big time game, big time atmosphere, and it means more than just what takes place on the floor. But it's only right before we renew to take a look back at some of the most memorable games. 1987 Big Eight Tournament Final. Lee Coward hits the game-winning shot with the time winding down in Kemper Arena. 1990 Mizzou number one, KU number two. The only time the two rivals played as the nation's top two teams. The second top five meeting of the season between the two, both won by Mizzou. And of course, until now, the final year of the border war and the return matchup at Allen Fieldhouse where KU won following a call most Mizzou fans still haven't forgotten. I think we got cheated, but you know, it is what it is. Finally, on Saturday, the border war is back and Martin is preparing his team to take on a rival they've never faced before. You have, you have emotions as a coach. You want to play in a game like that. Um, and then I think as a coach, you want players that want to play in games like that. Fans from both sides of the border will gather in Allen Fieldhouse. So I'm excited to renew that. I mean, I'm excited for the city. It's something that college basketball needs. I'm excited for MU fans. I'm excited for KU fans. It's something that the state of Missouri and Kansas uh, need to witness an iconic Midwest tradition that has been missed. In Columbia, Lauren Michelson, KOMU 8 Sports. Mizzou travels to Lawrence on Saturday, 2.15 p.m., where Conzo Martin gets his first taste of the border war since that showdown for relief exhibition game in 2017.